it's an ever-evolving creative journey. My dad was my inspiration. My father did a lot of uh, Monty Python films and Terry Gilliam stuff as well. And I used to come in every holiday, muck around the workshop. The special effects has changed. In my father's days, it was more physical and less VFX. Nowadays, we are a medium which the VFX like to use to, to supply them with decent elements, but it's also slightly destructive. Special effects as a department brings to a production the chaos and mayhem. If you get given a task and they tell you the end image they want to see, it's our job to, to work out how we get there. If you want to put an environment where you've got actors in a room and the, and the room is supposed to explode, we achieve that in camera, safely and effectively. You know how it's going to look in your head, but you also love the fact that it goes crazily, you know, this way and that way. It's a technically challenging thing to do and to make it look good at the same time. We handle gas, we handle water, we handle wind, we handle smoke, we handle pyrotechnics, we handle engineering, blood, snot, <laughs> you know, everything. Everything you can possibly imagine is our trade. It's massive. <laughs> I would consider special effects as an art form. It certainly is something I can not do without, yeah, <laughs> for many reasons. <laughs> well, I love it. I absolutely love it. Enemies to the east. Enemies to the west. Enemies to the south. Enemies to the north. Whatever stands in our way, we will defeat it. We're the last Lannisters. The last ones you count. I was born to rule the Seven Kingdoms. And I will. Father and brothers are gone, yet here you stand. Last best hope against the coming storm. If we don't put aside our enmities and band together, we will die. And then it doesn't matter whose skeleton sits on the Iron Throne. Great War is here.